Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am up bright and early this morning. I'm actually really glad that the camera always makes things look lighter than it is because it's only just starting to get light now. My goodness is it dark in the mornings when I wake up now. I really really miss summer for that because I always find it so much easier to get up in the mornings when it's light. I'm really relying heavily on my Lumi light again. I always know when autumn winter rolls around when I need to start using my Lumi light to help me get up in the morning. If you don't know what a Lumi light is, it's basically like a kind of wake up natural alarm clock. So it brightens gradually and almost feels like you're waking up to daylight because it gets brighter and brighter and it just wakes you up a little bit more naturally and it's so much nicer than waking up to like the sound of your alarm when it's pitch black. You don't know if it's 2 a.m. or 7 a.m. I absolutely hate that. So if you're like me and you really struggle to get up when it's dark in the mornings, I definitely recommend investing in a Lumi light. I'll link mine down below because it's a game changer. I don't know what I would do without it in autumn winter. But I'm just currently having my morning coffee and fueling up before getting the train into London today. I'm heading into London for a really fun girly day. I'm going to meet my friend Charlotte and I'm sure you guys all will remember Charlotte. She's an absolute queen, an absolute babe. She's the one that I went to Paris with a little while ago back in must be March time and I've not seen her in absolutely ages. I feel like summer is just so difficult to keep up with friends. So now that we're coming into autumn winter, I really want to make an effort now that everyone's kind of back in the UK and people are a little bit more settled to make sure that I have regular meetups with my girls. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to do some outfit pictures. I think we're going to shoot some really cute little autumnal shots whilst we're in central. We're going to do a bit of shopping, grab some lunch. It's going to be a really, really fun day. And I could not tell you the last time that I was in central London so I'm really looking forward to having a really nice day back in the big city with my good friend Charlotte. I'm actually loving how much my skin is glowing this morning. I think it's down to a product that I have not used in ages. I feel like this is one of those products that's a little bit of like a hidden gem that I completely forgot about because I haven't been using it over summer and it is the YSL Too Chocolat Blur Primer and the best way to describe this primer is that this is a very greasy primer and I know that sounds really gross and it's probably not the kind of thing that you want to be putting on your skin however when it comes to autumn winter I really have to change up my routine in terms of the hydration and the products that I'm using on my skin when the weather starts to get colder like this I do find that my skin really really struggles with just being very dry very flaky I feel like going from the kind of like cold very dry air outside to kind of like central heating when you get inside it's really not good for your skin and it can be really really damaging and I find that my skin gets really dry and really flaky and this is one of those primers and I do remember using it last year that I feel like really helps with that because it's quite greasy and quite oily. It really helps with giving that kind of like layer of hydration and layer of protection over your skin to make sure that it doesn't get really like dry and cracked and like tight throughout the day. So I'm really excited to see how my foundation is just gonna like gonna last because this is one of those products that I've rediscovered in my drawer and I just forgot how much I loved it. So I've got that on today and I'm just loving the glowy skin. I've gone for like my usual makeup, let's be honest. I'm not the most adventurous. And I always find with the changing seasons, it's, it's like the perfect time to kind of like mix up your makeup and skincare and just really make sure that you're using the products that are gonna like benefit it the most. So loving my makeup today. I've also got a little roll neck on which makes me feel all the cozy vibes and I just absolutely adore how roll necks go with my beautiful Pandora jewellery. I feel like it just makes the jewellery pop. So I've got my little favourite pearl silver necklace on today. So I have got to get going before I am late to my train. I don't want to keep Charlotte waiting but really excited for a nice girly day in London. <laughs> well we have just stopped at Ralph's for a coffee. You've gone for hot chocolate. You just missed my um, excitement for festive season. Festive season? Because I, <laughs> I got hazelnut last year, they didn't have pumpkin spice. I was like, you know what? I'll go for hazelnut because it's a little bit festive. But we absolutely love Ralph's. It's one of our favourite places to come to whenever we're in London because it's just got the best view of Bond Street. It's right at the top of Bond Street. We've got Cartier just here and then the rest of the shops are all down there. And obviously this during Christmas. I feel like the main time that we come to Bond Street well, is Christmas. Well, like it's you. It's not really me at Christmas. It's very, very me you. at Christmas. Although I don't know if it will be this year. I'll have to see. I'm not a London gal anymore. You're a countryside gal. I am a little bit. Um, but yeah, so having a lovely coffee at one of my favorite places. It's making me very, very happy to be here. Look <laughs> you get the shot. <laughs>
everyone and welcome back it is a couple of days later now i'm back from london and i'm just brushing my hair through because i feel like it's gone really flat today it doesn't seem to be loving life i'm not entirely sure why but i always feel like when i get back from london the first thing i want to do is just jump in the shower give my hair a good wash have a good scrub i feel like now whenever i go into the city i feel like I don't know if anyone else has found this, especially if you've moved away more like into the country, but you can really feel the pollution when you're in the city and when you come away from it, it's quite like refreshing. It's almost like you just wanna like wash the pollution off of you, but I'm back now and had the loveliest, loveliest day with Charlotte. It's been such a while since I last saw her and we just like spent the day together. Um, we did a bit of shopping, had some girl talk. It was really, really lovely. And you probably will have seen from the clips and I'm sure you will have already seen over on Charlotte's Instagram, her YouTube, I bet you'll have already done an unboxing before this video goes up, but she did make a cheeky little purchase and she bought herself a new baby. Oh my goodness, she's absolutely gorgeous. Go and check her out on her Instagram. I'll link it down below if you don't know or don't already follow Charlotte, but she is so beautiful. Like such a her bag and she doesn't own a Loewe. I've just given it away. She bought a Loewe bag. The one that she was trying on in the clips, I was the enabler and encouraged her to get it. Honestly, I am not that friend that will encourage you to save money. I'm that friend that will encourage you to buy stuff. And Charlotte actually said that after she bought the bag. She was like, I've actually been thinking about this bag for ages. And I knew as soon as like, we were meeting up that I wanted to go and look at it with you because I knew that you'd encourage me to get it. And I was like, of course I will, because I'm that person going, you deserve it. You've worked hard. It's going to be such a staple. Like I am that friend that encourages you to buy things, but it was a really, really lovely day. And one of the things I feel like being back in London has kind of like reminded me just how much I love listening to podcasts. I feel like when I'm at home, I'm not as good as listening to them because I usually just like play YouTube or like music in the background and things like that. Um, whereas podcasts were always like my commute, like my, my travel time. And because I've not been going into London as much, I've not been listening to as many podcasts. But there was a couple that I listened to yesterday. Um, I've already spoken about one of them, which is the Newlyweds podcast with Jamie Lang and Sophie Habibs. And honestly, they are hilarious. They are just so savage like they are so honest i there are some things i listen to and think if alex told the world that i would literally kill him i would kill him and probably vice versa um and there were so many moments where i was literally on the tube laughing out loud and thought everyone's gonna think i am mad um so i was listening to that and i've also started listening to susie finaldi's um confessions of a 30 something drama queen which i've been really really enjoying and i really love susie i think she's such a like great character there was a couple of others actually that i discovered that i didn't get a chance to listen to but i did download when i was on my journey that i'm really looking forward to oh grace beverly has also brought back her podcast working hard or hardly working they, she's also brought it as like youtube videos it's quite similar to diary ceo kind of style which if you like that you will really like that and there's one that I really want to give a go. I think it was Lydia Millen who I saw talking about this and it is called Duchess. And let me see if uh, the syn what the synopsis says. So welcome to Duchess, the podcast where the Duchess of Rutland explores the historic homes of Great Britain and meets the inspiring women who lead them today. Have you ever watched Bridgerton at the Crown or Downton Abbey and wondered what it's really like to be a Duchess? If so, this is the podcast for you. I am really excited to listen to. So I've downloaded a few of these and I think maybe today when I'm doing like some worky bits, um, I will have them on in the background just so that I can listen to it. Although I do struggle with when to listen to podcasts because I really love to be fully engaged. I feel like when I'm traveling, that's like the main time when I'm fully engaged. But I do actually have another event in London coming up. So maybe I can save it for my journey there. But I was really, really enjoying listening to the podcast on the journey. So a few there, a few recommendations for you guys if you want to check them out. I have got a little bit of a different vibe going today with my jewelry. I don't know if you'll have noticed. Let me know what you think of it. This is a necklace I showed you recently that I picked up um, from Pandora, which of course I am a Pandora ambassador. I love being a Pandora ambassador. It's just my favorite thing in the world. I mean, in terms of like my stacks, I'm not always the most adventurous. I feel like these, like these two rings and these bracelets are kind of just my go-tos at the moment. And I am loving the studs. I'm wearing them again today. Um, but this necklace, I just wanted something a little bit bolder and a little bit more kind of like there with regards to my necklace today because I really love how it looks especially next to like a black roll neck I feel like it just really pops the silver stands out so beautifully I'm loving silver at the moment I know I spoke about it in my trends video but silver is just so huge this year I really have fallen back in love with it and I feel like for a while I was very much a gold girl whereas now I've come come back to my roots and come back to like what I love and silver jewelry is one that I love and I really like this necklace so let me know your thoughts what I could do also as well is add 
little charms to it so that you can like personalize it, make it even more like you and a little bit more like bold and cute. So yeah, that is the vibe today, but I've got a lot of things to crack on with it today and I have a few bits to show you. I did of course do small tunnel shopping because when do I not? Honestly, this time of year is just my favorite. I feel like I'm constantly just adding things into my wardrobe, but I actually, used my own Farfetch discount code to shop a brand that I have wanted to shop for so long, but they are a bit more of a high price pointed brand and I've always been a bit unsure how kind of like much cost per wear I'm going to get, how like good the quality is, the materials and things like that. So I thought, you know what, whilst I've got the discount, I am going to use my own discount and shop these products. So I did buy these with my own money, but I used the discount that I'm working with with Farfetch on, which just a reminder is PE10F. F. I will put it on screen. Now, if there is anything you're wanting to shop on Fairfetch, they've got so many brands, so many things. It's not always just like the high price pointed things. They've got some really great, maybe like more mid price pointed items. And the, the code's only valid for maybe like another week or so once this video goes up. So you've not got long left to use it. So I definitely recommend using it. If there is anything that you've got your eye on, because it is 10% off for new and existing customers, which is not something that Farfetch offer very often. So it's such a privilege to be working with them and to be able to offer you guys at 10% off like pretty much site wide I'll leave the T's and C's down below but got lots to crack on with today so let's get going almost forgot to mention the dress that I'm wearing I hope you guys are ready to get used to seeing me outfit repeat like you've never seen before I feel like this year is just going to be the year of wearing what makes me feel comfortable what makes me feel good and you guys have really helped me with that you've really encouraged me just to like embrace that if there's certain things I love wearing just to wear them and these jumper dresses I just absolutely adore this is another new look one this is the old version of the recent one that I picked up so I will leave the latest version of it linked it down below for you guys but with regards to autumn styling I've got a couple of brands to show you so obviously I picked up a few bits from Farfetch and I also picked up some bits from Karen Miller now when it comes to like upgrading my autumn wardrobe and just adding in pieces that are really practical really timeless really versatile work really hard in my wardrobe Karen Millen is always one of those brands I just always always go to and Lydia Millen has done another drop with them and I really love her collections for Karen Millen I feel like she just always hits the nail on the head she clearly works really hard on them and there's always some really gorgeous pieces so I picked up a couple of bits from that so I'll show you those first now I feel like these pieces are almost more wintry than they are autumnal because they both have a bit of a festive feel to them but this I just fell in love with and jumper dresses and me just go hand in hand it literally feels like salt and pepper at this point like I just absolutely adore jumper dresses for autumn winter and they're the only thing that I really want to be wearing right now so when I saw this jumper dress I fell in love it is a I believe fair isle please correct me if I am wrong I believe that's what this pattern is called it's this kind of very festive alpine almost like apres ski kind of vibe and I absolutely love it. So it does come up with its own belt as well, which I've just looped around the neck. It does, it is attached at the moment. So I'm going to need to like unclip it off whilst I try it on. But it's this really, really gorgeous, like mini kind of esque jumper dress that's supposed to be belted, fitted, and give you a really, really lovely silhouette. And this is the kind of thing I just love to wear in autumn winter because it's super cozy, super warm, but really, really comfortable. And I've seen that Lydia styled up in a few different ways with like a few different belts. There's some like corsety style, um, like I don't know what they're called, these really thick belts that she's been wearing that she styled up with these. Personally, it's a bit much for me. I much prefer just like a daintier, smaller belt just so it can really cinch in your waist and it doesn't like completely take over your torso but I really like the fact that it's like a bit more of a mock turtleneck and I've spoken about this a lot but I find this great on shorter girls that like myself because it means that it's really nice and cozy it comes up quite high but it's not suffocating or overwhelming on your neck which is what I really really liked about it and it's a really lovely soft material it almost looks a bit like a chenille and it looks, do you know what, looking at this, there's loads of fibre, so you think it's going to be itchy, but as I'm touching it, it is the softest thing ever. So I thought this was a pair of knee-high boots, maybe a little, like, fedora or even a beret when the weather starts to really turn, and a cute little coat thrown over the top, and this is just such a perfect autumnal outfit. I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this dress. Well, I think it's safe to say that this is a jumper that I am going to wear a lot this autumn winter how cute is this i actually decided to add my own belt i wasn't really feeling the belt that came with it i feel like it was just a bit plain i really like that this has um like a little you know detail to it this is a little coach belt which, which i actually think you can shop on farfetch so if you do like this belt 
you will be able to get 10% off with my code. Honestly, I swear I will shut up about the code eventually, but it just excites me so much that I can give this to you guys because I always get so many questions and so many requests for one. But how stunning is the dress? It's just absolutely gorgeous. Paired it exactly how I would start with just a cute little pair of knee-high boots belted but you could wear it loose as well like I do quite like wearing jumper dresses loose at the moment I know I've spoken about this a lot goodness me belts are difficult to get off one-handed I've spoken about this a lot but I feel like when it comes to styling you don't always have to like cinch in you don't always have to have like you know the smallest silhouette and the tiniest waist you could easily just wear as is one thing I will say is that these belt loops why are they so high can you see that they come up to here so I think I'm gonna have these cut off because why are they right underneath my armpit? I'm not entirely sure. They should definitely be more down like here. And I'm sure that's not just because I'm a short girl. I'm sure that that's just too high on anyone because then the belt would be like underneath your ribs. Not entirely sure, but obviously with these kind of um, dresses, you don't need belt loops, so you can just add the belt as and when you like. But I do quite like it loose as well. I think it's a really, really lovely dress. Little bit long on me, of course, because I am a shorter girl. I can't remember if I picked this up in the petite. I don't think this is petite i think this is just the regular or maybe i did i will leave it linked down below regardless i'll leave the petite and the regular one linked down below for you guys if you do want to shop it but i think it is a really really gorgeous autumnal fairly festive wintry jumper that i am going to get a lot of wear out of and let me tell you it is warm because i'm already sweating in it so i need to take it off now <laughs> And then the other item I picked up from the Lydia Millen Karen Millen collection is this jumper. And on first glance, you might just think, Ellie, that is a gorgeous cable knit jumper. That's a real staple. That's a real classic piece. But look at these. It has fluffy, so OTT cuffs. I am absolutely in love. And if this isn't like the perfect festive jumper, then I don't know what is. I'm kind of in love with it. I feel like it's so extra and so over the top. It is amazing and I'm totally picturing this for the festive period with a pair of maybe like leather look leggings and like knee-high boots I think would be really cute or even tucked in to like a slip skirt like a satin slip skirt I think would be really really gorgeous but I just fell in love with the cable knit of it as well I think it's really really gorgeous like so classic like a really lovely thick cable knit and I love it when the cable knits have a different pattern like as it runs through it I always think it makes them look so expensive now the only thing I am a little bit concerned about that's how high this roll neck is going to be especially with the fact that it is a creamy color if it sits too high it will obviously get foundation on it so we'll see if i'll be able to roll it down or if it will work but the sleeves are just what sold me this jumper they're so extra they're so ott but my goodness are they the coolest thing i've ever seen <laughs> Okay, so I'm styling up this jumper a little bit differently to how I normally would. And I have you guys to thank for that because when I did this the other day with another jumper, loads of you were like, you know what, it looks really cool. And I'm kind of vibing with it. I feel like it's a really cool way of just like having the little skirt underneath and showing off like the full detail of the jumper. Because otherwise I would tuck it in, you'd lose a lot of the, you know, patterning and styling. But oh my goodness, the sleeves are just amazing. Actually, one thing I was really worried about was them being too long and completely overtaking my arms. But look at that. My hands poke out absolutely fine. So they're not going to, you know, flap about. I mean, they will get in the way if you're having dinner and you're reaching across for the salt. They will definitely get in the way. But I just think they're absolutely amazing and very, very festive. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, tuck the jumper in, have a bit more of like a casual style. Actually, a half tuck like that is kind of cool. Oh, I quite like that as well. Just to show off a little bit more of the skirt. But basically what I'm saying is this jumper is amazing. There's no way it's going back. I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot this festive season. And the roll neck can be pulled down. It was quite high. Um, but obviously I've just rolled it down. It's absolutely fine. It's not suffocating. It's not too high up. It's not too tight on my neck. So I'm really impressed with this. Such a gorgeous jumper. A little bit extra. A little bit OTT. But I think it's going to be so perfect for the festive season. Right, now moving on to Farfetch. So, as I mentioned, I really wanted to shop a brand that I have had my eye on for so long and I feel like it's a very me brand. Like, I really love so many of their styles and silhouettes and that is Reformation. So, I picked up a couple of bits from Reformation to just add into my wardrobe. One of the items is more, I think it's this here. Yeah, this is more of like an upgraded item. So, I do have this kind of thing in my wardrobe already, but I've been wanting to kind of update it and upgrade it. For something maybe a little bit more higher quality and that feels a bit more me. And that's a really gorgeous black kind of skater style skirt. Sorry, the black is gonna make the lighting go so weird because I'm in all black, the skirt is all black, but it's like a really gorgeous little mini skirt. And on first glance of this, it is beautiful, really high quality. Like it feels super thick and it's a bit, 
it's a little bit more skater-esque than I was expecting, but I think it's really, really nice. You guys know I love a skater skirt when it comes to autumnal styling paired with like knee-high boots and like a cute little jumper and like a blazer or a trench thrown over the top. It's just very me. So I've been wanting to add something into my wardrobe that I feel like is going to last really, really long time because I have had a few high street versions in my wardrobe for a couple of years and they have been great, but I do find with the high street ones, you do notice a bit of wear and tear a little bit sooner. I've had some buttons break, some zips break, so I think it would just be really nice to have an up graded version of an item that I absolutely love, I get so much cost per wear out of, and that will work really hard in my wardrobe, because I know that I'm going to make my money's worth with this skirt, I'm definitely, definitely going to get the cost per wear out of it, it's a bit more of a spenny item, but if you're looking at to upgrade your little skater skirt in your wardrobe, I think this might be the one for you. Oh my goodness, I did not realise until I put this on, that this is actually a pair of skorts, so there are shorts underneath, and I will just say that this skirt is almost identical identical to the one that I picked up from Zara recently but basically a better quality better fitted version like this fits me a lot better around the waist the Zara one had like a big gape at the back it's a really really lovely silhouette and a really lovely fit it's nice and short so if you're a short girl like me this will be perfect on you it's a little bit more of a skater style than I was expecting I was expecting it to be a little bit flowier but I do love it so I am thinking of keeping this one as opposed to the Zara one because it's just so much better quality and I feel like it's going to last me a lot longer and actually I prefer the shorts in this one. The Zara one I find the shorts keep poking out at the back I think it's because I've got quite a big bum and I found that the shorts would keep like showing when I walked so it looked a little bit like dodge whereas these I feel like aren't going to show as much unless you know the wind picks up. I feel like it's such a thick fabric it's not really going to do that but it goes so well with these boots. I mean this is just such a vibe and I love it just you know a really simple outfit tucked into like a roll neck like this and you know it's just so so classic so um yeah love the skirt would definitely recommend picking up I feel like Reformation have quite a few skirts on Farfetch at the moment so I will link them down below if you want to shop them but this is just beautiful and then the other item I picked up is there anything more satisfying than this I didn't do that very well but honestly I just love the far-fetch packaging so I picked up something that again maybe this should be called like the first of the festivals because um <laughs> there's a lot of items that I feel like are going to be for the festive period I really am starting to think about like November December time already and I know it's a little bit soon to think about that maybe but I feel like when you're in this job we always have to look ahead and think ahead and I'm already starting to plan my wardrobe but this dress okay so it's definitely going to need a steam but look at this look at this i'm absolutely in love now reformation do this kind of like silhouette a lot which is what i really like about it i feel like they're a brand that they know what works they know what people like and they bring it back time and time again let me get a hanger to put this on because i feel like you can always see it better when it's on a hanger i feel like that's a little bit better so it's a really gorgeous almost like milk made style dress with a lovely little side slit it's like a gorgeous forest green color and i feel like this will work so well for the festive period for like lots of different events that i've got coming up i always have like press days and blogger trips and like you know christmas events and christmas parties to go to and i feel like this will be absolutely perfect for multiple reasons number one the color obviously green is very festive it's very wintry i really really love how it looks number two the fact that it's long sleeved and like a mid axi length means i'm going to be able to fit thermals underneath it so i feel like i'll be able to layer this up to the nth degree it's got a really lovely sheared panel on the back so i feel like it's going to be really flattering and really fitted which i really really like and i love the fact that it's got this kind of like scoop neck I think that's really really beautiful the sleeves are slightly puffed but not too much and I just think this is a very very me dress so it's very spenny but that is why I wanted to be able to use my discount on this because I feel like being able to get reformation at 10% off is very very rare I don't think I ever see reformation at going down in the sale the only time I'll ever really see it is if it's like got into the outlet but that's usually the less popular styles things that are maybe a bit more experimental this is like a really classic silhouette that reformation do and a really classic style so I don't think this would ever normally be discounted so make sure to use my code if you do want to shop reformation because they have so many gorgeous pieces and it's really exciting to be able to get such a beautiful luxury brand at such an amazing sale well I think it's safe to say that I have just found a new favorite dress. How stunning is this? Oh my word, it is just absolutely beautiful. So elegant, so effortless, so classy. The only thing I will say, so in terms of sizing, Reformation's a little bit confusing because it's like zero, one, two, three. 
From the website, it said that I was a two, but it's a little bit tight, so I'm debating whether to return it and get a three, um, just so that I have a bit more room for like a food baby, if I wanna eat and everything like that. But it's so stunning, like it fits really beautifully around your waist, the silhouette it gives you is stunning. I love the shoulders, like they've got the slightest bit of padding, which isn't like a full on padded shoulder, it's just a bit more of like a, kind of elevated silhouette which I really really like about it and it's got such a stunning flowy skirt I love the side slit I always talk about how flattering a side slit is because it's a really great way of just showing a little bit more kind of like skin within a bit more of a covered up look so I think it's so so beautiful and it goes really well with just a little pair of boots these are the Vivaya boots that I am just going to be living in this autumn winter so yeah absolutely adore this i would definitely recommend it checking out reformation on farfetch and picking something up with the discount because it's just such a beautiful brand and i feel like this is the kind of dress that i will just get so much wear out of like i will literally be able to pull it out of my wardrobe year on year i mean i know the green is a little bit festive but i feel like this is the kind of dress that you can wear in autumn spring winter maybe not summer because of the long sleeves but it's the kind of dress you can wear any time of year and you can pull out of your wardrobe for any occasion like i could wear this as a wedding guest dress but i could also wear it just like as an evening meal to like an awards thing any kind of like christmas party i feel like this is one of those dresses that you can just style up for so many different occasions so i'm so glad i picked it up it is just the most beautiful thing i think i've ever ever seen so it's a little while later now i've just had my lunch and i have had my lunch <laughs> surrounded by this mess <laughs> So I've been really enjoying um, filming reels, just like in slightly different locations. I love my dressing room, obviously I've literally set that up for like filming and all of that jazz, but I really love just this little setup here, although I won't lie, I had a right mare because the sun kept coming in and out, so it was like, you know, the lighting kept changing, but I really like this as a background because it's very neutral um, and like the wooden floor looks really lovely with shoes and stuff, so I think I might be using this a bit more for reels, but it does mean that the kitchen ends up looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I left it as I was having lunch I was like you know what? I'm too hungry I just need to eat right now goodness me that is bright I just need to eat right now and I will sort it out once I have it refueled so I'm now refueled <laughs> and now the task has fallen upon me to sort out this mess so cue the time lapse we're gonna get organizing get sorting and pack all this away And just like that, normality is resumed. The calm and tranquil space is back to normal. Honestly, this is just my favorite room. I absolutely love it. And I love when it's nice and clean and tidy, obviously ignoring my laptop and notebook over there, all of my work stuff, because I will be cracking on with work for the rest of the afternoon, but it makes me really happy when this place is nice and organized and clean. Well, I thought seeing as though I've already got the tripod set up down here, I thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing because I did have something really exciting arrive the postman knocked on the door mid shoot which is always one of my worst fears because obviously i'm changing a lot you know i'm switching up outfits it's my worst fear that i would have literally stripped down and then the doorbell goes luckily i was in the middle of wearing an outfit whilst he knocked on the door but i thought i would show you what's inside because i am so so excited about this this is actually from one of my favorite brands in the entire world, in the entire world, I feel like it's no secret how much I adore this brand. When it comes to their fragrances, they're like literally all I want to wear and I'm so excited about this. So we've got the press release here. So this is a very kind gift from Jo Malone and it says here that Jo Malone presents English Pear and Freesia's new editions. English Pear and Freesia is literally one of my favorite, favorite scents. It's always the one that I find I get most complimented on and it's kind of one of my most worn fragrances at the moment. So it says, explore the enchanted world of English Pear and Freesia. A forever favorite inspired by orchids washed with golden sunshine. The sensuous freshness of just right pears wrapped in a bouquet of bright white freesias. They're unremarkable 
unmistakable blooms radiating innocence and a delicate cool touch mellowed by amber patchouli and woods this autumn rediscover english pear and freesia in a special edition cologne with a fluted bottle design set the scene with the english pear and freesia home collection featuring a diffuser and home candle topped with an exclusive pear inspired lid oh my goodness that's so cute do you know one thing though that i do find that i struggle with sometimes with joe malone is that i don't always want my home to be the same scent as me so i do find that when it comes to my home fragrances i usually like to change it up to like my perfume fragrances so i have different scents so like honeysuckle and divana is my favorite home scent i absolutely love that i've got lots of candles and i've had a couple of re-diffusers in that scent but i don't use that as a perfume anymore i just when i spray it as perfume I'm like it smells like home now so it's really weird so i usually don't like to have the same but i like to mix it up so anyway back to the unboxing oh oh my goodness it's a pear. It's a pear. Guys, look at that. It's the classic Jo Malone pox, but in a pear. I cannot get over this. Oh my word. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is such a kind gift. Oh my goodness. This is a full size of the English Pear and Freesia perfume. Oh my word. This is literally my favorite perfume. Oh, I love it. I mean, I don't, it's like literally the end of the day, but oh it is just such an amazing scent i love it so so much and as you can see it's got the limited edition fluted bottle which i just think is so so beautiful it's such a stunning design i love it two pieces the joe malone packaging is just my favorite one thing i will say though which kind of upsets me i would recommend not keeping it out on display i've had joe malone perfumes that i've had out on my shelves i don't know if you guys will remember the old shelf setup back in the flat i used to have like all my joe malone perfumes out on display but i do find it, and especially if they get hit by daylight they do go off a lot quicker and they can go yellow so what i would say is keep it in a drawer which does upset me because i'm like oh they're such beautiful bottles i just want to keep them out on display but it will keep the scent fresher for longer and especially a bottle as big as this like it will take you forever to get through this such a kind gift from joe malone i can't get over this pair box i literally i just want to keep this on my desk or something i feel like i need to find somewhere for this everyone's going to be like what the hell is that pair box but i just think it's adorable i think it's the cutest thing ever so such a kind gift thank you so so much joe malone i feel absolutely spoiled and when I say it's one of my favourite scents, I really am not joking because I always have two of these on the go. I have one in my perfume drawer that I keep on my desk because I usually spray this most mornings. I'm going to show you inside the drawer because it's an absolute state. And then I also always have one in my everyday handbag, which is currently my Mulberry Bayes Water, which... I also have one in here because I love to spray it um, on the go. This is also the limited edition packaging. You can tell how much I love it because I haven't had it that long and already I've used quite a lot of it. Um, but as I said, this is just my most complimented perfume, my most wearable perfume. I love it so much for like summer, autumn, spring. It's such a beautiful scent. So yeah, <laughs> you can tell I love it. Well, it's quite a while later now and I've not picked up the camera because I've not really been doing anything exciting. I have just been cracking on with admin and emails and all the boring things that this job involves but you want to know where i've been doing it in the snug literally my favorite room to be in at the moment when i just want to get cozy and snuggly and comfy because literally no daylight hits this room so it's just like a really like dark but in a good way kind of a room which just makes it even cozier and comfier um but as i was sitting here actually i realized as well just how much i'm not joking when i say i love joe malone but i've got this candle sitting here which i i burnt this one yes i have burnt this one this is a honeysuckle and divana candle which as i say is my favorite home fragrance so i really really love this one for like candles and reed diffusers and things like that i currently have a white company reed diffuser in here but i think once this one's ran out i might put honeysuckle and divana in here because i love it it's just one of my favorite favorite scents but um yeah i kind of got to the point where i realized that i hadn't actually signed off at this video and i'm about to head upstairs to take off my makeup get into my pjs and get comfy for the evening and my camera battery has just started flashing so if that's not a sign for me to wrap up this vlog then i don't know what is and just thank you guys for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video seeing some new in pieces and coming into london with me don't forget about the farfetch discount code it's only available till the 22nd of october so you've not got too much longer to use it so it's pe10ff and you can use it on so many different things what i've started doing is creating some like edits of like some brand rounder 
stand-up so like my favorite shoes my favorite bags my favorite coats things like that just try and make your life a bit easier because i do understand that it can be a bit of an overwhelming sight to shop on sometimes so make sure to head over to my like to know it to see it, those edits as well and make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i would love it if you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because i know some of you do watch these videos and haven't actually hit subscribe you just come over whenever i like post about it on instagram but it just means that you will never miss a video because you will have it there in your subscription box and it just really helps me out to know that you want to come back and see more videos so i hope you guys are having the loveliest day as you can tell i am honestly so tired i'm barely getting my words out now but i will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>